Hey, what's going on guys? Jason here, and today we are going to be playing Minecraft, and um, I have a scene for sort of a survival island type uh, area, and I'm not going to turn bonus chest or anything like that on. I'm just going to leave everything kind of the default way because that's how I think the seed works. And um, we are going to name this uh, Survival Island. Uh, now, from what I've seen, there are um, there are four total islands, and um, if it turns out to be more land beyond that point, I'm probably not going to go past. So I'm just going to try to survive. Um, on these four islands, so looks like I spawned on the first one, um, and my render distance uh, is pretty high. I just gotta wait for the chunks to load. So yes, there is an island over there, and then if my memory serves me correctly, there's a island somewhere out there, and then there's also uh, hopefully yeah, see, there's one out there. And there's, I believe, one out there in that area. So, first thing we're going to do is just grab some wood. I am using the uh, Sfax Pure BD Craft uh, texture pack. Uh, I didn't want to do the default because I've been using default for a while. So, it was kind of boring for me. So, I decided to switch it up. And, um, yeah, I don't know uh, how we're going to do the series. I think we're just going to see how long we can survive. I didn't turn it on hardcore. Uh, so in case we just die early on on something stupid, we can respawn and the series won't end. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't really know how far I want to take it. I'm just gonna roll with the punches, see uh, see how everything goes, and that's that. So there are some methods of making and getting food that I didn't really think of at the top of my head the first time I tried this. Uh, we could start a farm, and we could you know smash those seeds eventually get or smash that grass eventually get seeds turn that into a farm and just live off bread we could also craft a fishing pole and we could also uh, just fish I could uh, do a bunch of fishing off camera and just stock up on fish uh, there's a bunch of ways that we could do it it's not just all uh, getting animals and apples from these trees so um, yeah the uh, the first time I actually did try this there wasn't there's actually one sheep that I found and um, I was planning on making shears to get the wool and we could do that to make a bed um, so we'll try to do that but other than that I didn't see any other animals I did only travel to uh, the island that way as you guys can see there's another th fourth island um, I did not travel to that one or that one I just I think you always spawn on this one and then the that island over there um, I went over there and that's where I saw the sheep so Maybe the sheep will spawn, maybe there will be a different animal, maybe there will be nothing, I don't know. We'll see how it goes, um, but for right now, we are just kind of getting an inventory, uh, getting a hold of things before nightfall. What I do want to do is, uh, is find coal, and that way we'll be able to put torches all around this island, and we only need probably like 10 uh, to make sure it's monster free just on this island. They will spawn in the water, but at least that buys me some time to... Uh, know explore the island that way um, I'm actually planning on making an underground bunker that way if we leave our bunker we won't be you know there won't be a bunch of creepers or hostile mobs just surrounding our bunker so if we torch that place up it uh, it'll definitely make it much safer I'm actually planning on having a bunch of um, light posts out in the water just like one block high just a bunch of torches everywhere that way uh, monsters will not spawn anywhere near me that would be awesome um, but that'll probably be definitely later right now we're just kind of uh, grabbing what we can and uh, food is definitely really critical so we're gonna probably start the farm this episode um, definitely going to establish our home base though we don't really need this wood so we'll just make everything wood planks and wood really isn't going to be a problem because as you guys can see I already have eight total saplings and uh, I've only Look at that, 9, 10, uh, and then I saw some others over here. So wood really won't be a problem. Plus, we'll be establishing a mine shaft, so we'll definitely have uh, way too much gobble to deal with. So I'm not terribly worried about wood right now. I think food is definitely going to be the hardest thing to uh, have a surplus of. We're definitely going to be running low for uh, a while until we get our farm actually started and uh, everything going so let's just make a crafting table and um, 
make we could make a shovel yeah let's make a shovel whoops yeah we can make a shovel we're probably just gonna make a set of wooden tools first um, that way we'll be able to um, sort of mine and get everything going like that so we'll, be, we'll just quickly craft this alright um. alright so we got a shovel and a pickaxe and an axe so uh, what I'm actually thinking about doing is uh, just clearing up all these trees so it's easier to navigate around even though it is a pretty small island I like to see what's going on on the other side so I don't um, so nothing really bad happens and also uh, during the nighttime some skeletons or creepers might get caught under the trees um, and they won't burn from the sunlight uh, because the trees provide shade so if we get rid of those trees um, it'll definitely make it safer in that aspect uh, so hopefully we will be able to uh, not die the first episode <laughs> Uh, no, we should we should be set. Uh, we'll probably go mining soon and uh, just get everything. But right now we're just gonna live off of apples, uh, and then I'll grab. There's some grass I saw over there, so we'll probably grab that. Hopefully get some seeds, and if not, uh, we'll travel to the other three islands, and there's sure to be some sorts of food, something. Um, but yeah, this is uh, kind of my first YouTube video I've posted officially I've posted a bunch of videos before I tried some stuff out and never really um, followed through with any series that I tried but I, I have a good feeling about this I think it's gonna be really fun uh, I just gotta keep up with it and uh, it should be very very fun so I don't want to bore you guys too much I'm chopping down like all the trees here I'll probably do uh, a lot of boring work off camera so I keep all the interesting stuff uh, in the series so that should be good for now let's just uh, convert all the wood into planks uh, let's see here bam so as you guys can see we have over uh, four stacks of wood so that we should be set on that plus we have a surplus of saplings so everything's all good in that sense and um, we could start making our little bunker area uh, I was thinking we could do a bunker but we might as well just do a regular house um, the only reason I was I did a bunker last time when I tried this off camera is because um, oh nice we got some seeds already that's good uh, the only reason I made a bunker is because I didn't really have much wood um, and now I have a ton because last time I spawned here uh, there wasn't really a lot of trees. I think there's only three or four. So, uh, if you guys do want to try this survival island type thing on your own, then um, in the description will be a seed, uh, the seed that I used for this. So you guys can try that out if you'd like. All right. Um, let's clear this area out, and uh, I guess we'll make a house since I did a bunker last time. We can do a house this time. Um, but yeah, as I said earlier, uh, it should be a lot of fun. I'm um, thinking about doing, having like this huge mine system, uh, having underground passages to each island. That would be really cool. We could we could go a lot of way with ways. We could go a lot of ways with this uh, series. And I think it's kind of cool that it's not. It kind of restricts you from having an open world experience. Um, so you're not really confused as to you know what do we do this time. That way, in this series, we can. Um, there's a bunch of cool stuff we can do because we are restricted. So that's just my opinion, though. I will probably make this uh, home base type thing here. Uh, it's not going to be anything special. Um, not the best builder in Minecraft, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. But um, I think just a small little shack could do it seems about right and we'll probably have a underground extension uh, with storage and um, a bunch of cool stuff so I have a lot of ideas and I'll probably do as I said earlier a lot of stuff off camera just to kind of speed up the process so I don't bore you guys if I haven't already <laughs> and um, yeah so we'll probably make this one more tall like that so three more and we can't reach it so we'll just go like this. I'll probably finish building this, putting off the um, final finishing touches on this uh, later. But for now, we'll just establish a uh, safe base. 
Oh, no, 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 no. Did I do that with birch? Oh, I did. That's all right. I don't think there's any other birch here. No, there's not. So that was really stupid of me. But uh, why don't we plant some birch here? We'll wait for that to grow. In the meantime, we will uh, sort of just keep that. And if nighttime does come, then I'll just rush it and do it with the other color. But for now, we'll just keep it like that. Plant our birch saplings. It's all good. And now we need, we could use a hoe. Uh, why don't we do that, actually? Shovel this area out. Make a little bit of a mini farm here. Oops. Alright, cool. So, the sun is going down, which means we should probably find some coal before we start our farm. We're all set on food, and we don't really need anything like that, so... Uh, let's go down. Let's try to find some coal. Um, and you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make this uh, creeper proof or mob proof, I guess. Just make it high enough so nothing can really jump over me. I could roof myself in. So that's probably what I'm going to do for now. Again, I know this is super ugly, but uh, just doing this to be safe. Bam, bam, bam. Got plenty of wood, so we're not really wasting much of it. Um, Alright. And. Oh, God. Wow, this is really bad, man. Alright. So, I know you guys probably won't be able to see very much uh, because it will be very dark if it isn't already, but I'm going to try to adjust the brightness settings to make it easiest to view. And, um, yeah. That's probably what I'm going to do. Let's make another crafting table. Bam. And I just want to make sure. We'll uh, put the difficulty on normal. I thought it was on normal already. but Alright. Um, we will do this. Make another wooden shovel. And then we'll kind of start a uh, run-of-the-mill sort of mine shaft type thing. Hopefully we'll be able to find some coal relatively quickly. Then we'll be able to light this place up, and uh, production should speed up very quickly. We just got to get our bearings first, and then we should be all set. Alright. Let's see where my coordinates... Oh, 56. We're eventually going to go down to 12, because that's diamond level, but... Um, is this gravel? Yeah, I haven't used this um, texture pack much, so I don't really know what the things are, but uh, it's definitely much cooler than vanilla, I'd say. Um, it's also a really cool change, because I've pretty much pay played on the default uh, texture pack for all my life. <laughs> I've messed around with texture packs a little bit before, but never really stuck with one. Uh, this one definitely uh, super cool. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. What I don't necessarily like about this texture pack is, if you see on the bottom the hunger bar, uh, it doesn't really show how much hunger you're missing. It only shows how much you have left. Um, I guess I guess maybe it does. Maybe it's just dark and it kind of texts that out. But maybe when we get in the light, I'll check that out again. But I just noticed that. That was kind of weird. Alright, um, let's see. Alright, so I don't want to make you guys wait any longer, and I will cut, oh, never mind, I was just about to jump cut to when I found coal, but I just found it, awesome, so, uh, now we got coal, now we can make some torches, all that good stuff. Unfortunately, I did not have a chance to find any sheep to make a bed, so we are going to have to waited out you guys are but I am <laughs> um, so it looks like we got uh, I believe seven eight nine I think total might be really off oh there's some more over here great I'll take all the coal I can um, but yeah I have uh, some really cool ideas for what I want to do with this series as I said I was gonna have an underground sort of railroad to each of the four islands um, 
and it's just gonna be awesome. So let's uh, actually make these torches so I don't have to strain your guys' eyes anymore. I know um, viewing dark caves and stuff on Minecraft on YouTube is uh, is pretty tough. Oh, that was dirt. Wow. Okay. All right. So just make uh, a little bit of sticks, and we should have plenty. We actually got 15 coal there. That is awesome. All right, so we'll just place some torches down here. One, so you guys can see, and two, so uh, no monsters will spawn when we jump down there. Bam. Nice. And as I said, our house is super newbie. Oh. Oh, wow, do you guys see that? <laughs> that was a spider, and I also heard an enderman uh, teleport. So we are hunkered down in this little area, and... um. I guess we will start to make our inside. Um, so let's go ahead and make. Actually, let's make a double chest. And those Enderman, that Enderman is right near us. I can hear him squirming around. I really like the uh, the chest and the crafting table textures in this texture pack. It's really cool. Go ahead and make a. Uh, furnace place that right there and I don't know what we can cook we only have one apple for food but as I said once um once it's daytime then we'll be able to um go outside start the farm oh whoops go outside start the farm and um we should be good from there all right so let's just place some stuff in this chest here that we don't necessarily need right now. The seeds. We actually. Oh no, we need water. I was gonna say we could start an indoor farm, but I think you need water and sunlight. None of which we have right now. Um, but I guess now, I guess our only option is uh, is to start is to continue mining rather. Food is definitely gonna be a uh, a very very much a problem <laughs> um, for the first few episodes. But I'm willing to, um, oh wow, I, I should have checked the durability there. Um, but anyways, that's probably going to do it for our first part. Uh, when we come back, it'll hopefully be daytime, and uh, I'll see you guys then. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye.